much. In the meantime, will your kids be getting snow days even if they are learning from home? How does that work? Our Brandon Simmons reached out to a few districts to see what their plans are this week, and he joins us live now. Brandon, good afternoon to you. What did you learn? Hey, how's it going, Jay? Yeah, a lot of kids excited about schools. I just want to tell you, we're on the northern end of Summit County. Obviously, it doesn't look like the weather is bad here in Twinsburg just yet, but as Betsy and Matt both told us, there's a chance it could get worse, and there's a lot of decisions that school district leaders, of course, will have to make, and one of them, of course, is snow days. So, of course, the first big question a lot of people want to know is, are snow days still a thing when we're all in this virtual learning and we're all so used to this virtual learning? I guess the short answer right now is yes. And I've talked to multiple districts who have told me that it is still a possibility indeed. And then there's a couple reasons that, that that's the case. And the first reason is because as we learned late last week from Governor Mike DeWine, there are only 5% of schools that are still in a fully remote situation. So that's the first thing is that most kids are back. And because they're on these sort of hybrid models, we know that a lot of those students are only there certain days of the week. So they may not be prepared with all of the equipment they need to, to have at home. They may have left things at school. So that's why they can't make that switch really fast. And the second reason is that many of the teachers are still under contracts that provide calamity days and those have to be days off without school in session. Twinsburg is one of those school districts. I also talked to Mentor. They said it's the same way. And there are a few others all over town who operate with that sort of method in mind. So for that reason, there's still a good chance that snow days could happen if, if of course, that weather gets bad in the areas that we're talking about. And of course, since it's happening all over Northeast Ohio, there will be a lot of kids who are excited tomorrow morning. Tune into the eye alert system, of course, and we'll be able to tell you whether or not school is in session, Jay. All right, very good, Brandon. I remember that excitement myself.